Multiple sites nowadays are often, due to their immense age and their impossible characteristics yet to be explained, their size and precision, although clearly of an artificial as yet unexplainable nature, alas, if it contradicts modern paradigm, is deliberately overlooked and masked, or when claimed as a permitted known world history group's work, is always absent methodological explanations as to how they achieve these feats. Academics controlled via financial and vocational security. Ultimately becoming the arch enemy of a field that should be dynamic in nature, ever-changing, expanding and accurate. A pioneering pursuit into the mysteries of history, and indeed ourselves, in regards to true historical fact. A career of submissive deceit Many presumably went into the field with good intentions, yet quickly learnt that they must toe the mainstream line if they were to survive, a theory that they all must know is fiction, they in unison defend and continue to push as conclusive fact. When the truth is, we have barely scratched the surface of the history of ourselves, or indeed the universe, the place we call home, the task of shipping the Lamassu would have shown the curators of London Museum, and indeed all involved and all interested in this undertaking, just what an incredible feat the transportation of these statues must have once been, for the museum chose a mere modest statue and the arduous nine-month task, along with the custom-built ramps, would have shown them what we claim is clearly fact. They were fully aware of the unexplainable nature of the monuments and the mystery of how they transported them more than a century ago. So why all the secrets? Why hide our past? If we were introduced to the real mysteries currently hidden regarding life, it would inspire, free, and help so many people on their journey through life, as it enables us all to pursue a logical explanation in regards to where we all came from, or indeed why we are here. Many sites dot the earth which have either experienced cataclysm, sea salt halfway up the pyramid sides, inner chambers coated, marine shells found around the Sphinx's base, a mega metropolis recently rediscovered, abandoned, and reclaimed by the jungle of Guatemala, which once contained over 10 million civilians. Many other sites, mostly quarries due to the unfinished processed stones that were underway, display abandonment of said work abruptly. Thus, not only is there evidence that can be found throughout the earth of past cataclysm and quarrying undertaking seemingly left, as if the culprits vanished, it is clear something happened. However, although if dated at more than the permitted chronology of man is denied as artificial, regardless of the obvious fact they were man-built, this same field, geology, have, however, become unwitting, unpredicted ally to the channel's overall mission. In other areas of our investigations, their dating of water redistribution, for example, how rivers, seas, and ice radically changes location geographically over thousands of years, and due to this geology accurately dating when an area became submerged. The changing of the seas and the date in which these events occurred with still flooded sites worldwide, a number of which we have so far covered. Bimini Road being one such anomaly, one of these artifacts that although submerged, thanks to academia's astute studies into the dates at which water levels changed, allows for dates far earlier than currently attested timelines of man can allow. Due to these dates, and the fact that they were clearly once built upon dry land, gives each ruin a minimum age far older than academia can ever admit to. Floodings dated by these same geologists, who were crucially initially unaware of their existence, have dated many submerged ruins, including a number of pyramid complexes, at far over 10 to 20,000 years old, with some floodings dated as occurring sometimes upwards of hundreds of thousands of years ago. For many of these sites, due to them not having been re-inhabited and left to the elements since their original abandonment, are clearly intelligently created ruins with clear artificial origins, door cuts right angles, 
even polygonal masonry, all denied as anything but geological by those who have even been there, yet again, due to Gornia Shoria's immense size, sediment buildups, thus clearly prehistoric age, clearly proves any denial of artificial origin as an obvious conspiratorial lie. The fact that modern paradigm doesn't tell of any advanced civilization at this location within known history, thus no archaeological footprints left by a later people, relics which would have allowed academics to label said groups as undoubtedly the builders, and the undeniable evidence of prehistoric age, they must overlook such evidence. It must be overlooked or dismissed. The better at this you are, the more popular these institutions make you. If no civilization was ever recorded re-inhabiting an area at any time throughout permitted history, thus no archaeology, it is far too controversially old for academics to study. So the denial continues. Yet ironically, the undeniable is the ultimate weapon. Slain by their own proverbial sword, the strategy of deceit is always succeeded by the truth. For the truth is grounded, unchanging, immovable and founded upon a solid foundation. When such an occasion arises, the mere introduction of logical honesty, due to it being the truth, is far too fitting and in reflection of our regular expose of the lies littering modern teachings of history. The truth sticks. It resonates. Once the truth is exposed, it never dies. It is immortalized and unchanging. All we have ever wanted is for our viewers to ask themselves the questions we painstakingly search for the answers to ourselves, and we have dedicated a number of years of extremely hard work in amassing such a vast collection of stories, evidence, and other aspects supporting our work, regardless of MSM's reluctancy to ever promote, popularize, or pursue such subjects within their studies, papers, journals, or articles those towing the line of illogical dating and explanations for origins must deny the obvious artificial nature it's one or the other. We find all of these things highly compelling.